Copperheads are easily the most common venomous snake in the southeast. There's a common tale that the baby copperheads are far more dangerous than their adult counterparts. And today, I'm going to find out if this is true. Just stumbled upon a really neat, this is a baby copperhead. He's so tiny, he's definitely young of the year. So this is a baby copperhead. I'm, I'm well out of strike range, I might look like I come closer than I am because of the angle, but he's very small, very tiny strike range. So I can get closer to him than I could to an adult copperhead. He's amazing. He's got a yellow tail tip, and baby copperheads do something called caudal luring. And what they will basically do is they'll coil up just like this in the leaf litter, and they'll allow their camouflage to just melt right in, and then they'll wiggle that little tail tip back and forth and, and dart it around, and maybe a little frog or a skink will come in thinking that it's an insect and try to eat that, and the copperhead can strike out before the prey has a chance to react. And of course they need it. And, but as they grow, that tail tip actually fades to brown, and as adults they're far more proficient at hunting, so they don't need it anymore. So the story goes that baby copperheads are more dangerous than the adults, and the reasons given are that supposedly they either can't control the amount of venom that they inject, or that they're more toxic than the adults. So let's take a look at this. Baby copperheads do not have a more toxic venom than the adults do. Copperheads, to begin with, are the least dangerous venomous snake in the southeast. Their heads are much smaller than other pit viper species that live in the southeast, like cottonmouths or rattlesnakes, so their venom glands cannot hold as much venom, and the baby's heads are even smaller, so they hold even less venom. Also, from the moment of birth, baby copperheads can control the amount of venom that they inject when they bite. So the adults are way more dangerous than the babies are. He still has enough venom to really mess up my day. Not enough to kill me, but enough to definitely send me to a hospital. Well, this was an awesome encounter. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time on Skidoo Island Wildlife.